adding and subtracting weight. Uh, if you turn to, to Belay, who's a great school, if you turn to book one, book one, page 92, you will find pages of finger exercises. We used to call them knuckle busters. I, I think it's a good idea, it's a good thing to do. You could go... Uh, further up than this, here. I can't keep like this because unless my arm could go through the bass somehow, <laughs> which it can't, uh, then, you know, I could keep going with this position, but I can't play, I can't hold the bass. So I've got to turn slightly to make a more upwards position. The notes don't have to change. There's not, I mean, it's, it's the ideas between that and this. So here I'm making my position that I want to be in when I go up. You could think that there's not, that the, the, the old C mandel idea, for example, is there's one bass up to here, fourth finger, and then all at once, you're in the thumb position. There's two things, you, got, you, have, you don't have much of a choice. For me, there are three bases, really. There's one that goes up to here, where I can keep basically this hand position. Then I would want to change position slightly to this and let my elbow come out and back. That's controlling what I would think of as the middle register from D, let's say, up to B. Then thumb position where my arm comes up, my elbow comes up. If, if I put my fingers in a nice hand position and put them down in the thumb position, they'll basically fall on three strings. So I have a problem. I've got to move my thumb, uh, my first finger, more on the point, and my third finger more flat to fit on the same string. The line of the vibrato, it must be said, goes this way. That's the way my, I'm shifting really against my hand position in the thumb position. It's just a shame we play the double bass <laughs> violins much easier, I imagine. I don't know. You see some of these people go up to the high notes, they're tickling their nose and their thumbs sticking way back. But anyway, that's another, another problem. Um, so I'm going to think of, really, this is beginning to shift, but I'm beginning to think about maybe three instruments. One that goes there. I, I would think of deltoid muscles and a little bit elbow going up in this area for shifting. Then I could think of, I call this the Bruce Lee bass down here. Then we've got an in-between bass, which goes elbow. It looks from the front, my elbow's going up, but it looks from the front like it's staying in the same place. I find that's very interesting. So I'm, I'm going here. Then I'm going, I've got bicep and tricep. I've changed muscles in that operation to my bicep and tricep, which is like, uh, uh, what's his name? Who's that big price fighter now? I can't remember his name. Anyway, that's like that, up into the thumb position. I could go all in one go, but the three motions happen. We're back at page 92 in Belay, so I'm going to I'm do one where I add my fingers. I would use four notes slur to start because then, you know, if I've got a slurred bow, the spotlight's on my left hand. So I would, I would think about... People move a lot of fingers. That's just got to be completely unnecessary. It would be like walking to the shops, raising your knees way up in the air. You know, it doesn't make any sense. I would keep my, my, I keep my fingers as close as I can to the string. I'm not saying you could play, you could play like that, but I just need. He's 
time I put my finger down, it's in a very positive motion. You can hear. Then. I forgot to use my fourth finger on F. It's a question of when do you decide to use three instead of four. Uh, if, I'm in, if I'm going up, I'll probably use three beginning on F sharp. But I can use four on F sharp if I'm just going that far and I don't want to be bothered to do all this elbow stuff. So, I mean, what finger you use, I wouldn't be tied to any finger.